Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Anime Health Center. My name is Doctor I, and today, today we are back playing some more Pokemon Legend of Arceus Part Four. Yeah. Hopefully, it's Part Four, unless I, I I like do some weird edit stuff that I make this to Part Five or something else. I don't know. He had some cool moves. He had Aerial Ace and stuff, uh, and something else, I think. Uh, there you are. Let's hurry to headquarters. Uh, yes, I will head there right away. Up. Oh, uh, look. Uh, looks who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting all Maricino's precious time by bowing to a sham. Um, huh? Who are you guys? There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sino as a ruler of time. People f uh, fo follow the true Almighty Sino, the font of all creation and the ruler of space. Ha! Huh. You sh you should you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast Hisui space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of Pearl Clan. I worried you get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me? Get lost? All, uh, in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to a Pearl Clan in our world very basis? You wish. I wish that you hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you, Almighty Sino. Forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. <clears throat> Very interesting personalities. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence uh, for space is Rida leader of the pearl clan the man who was going on and on about time uh, adman leads the diamond clan the diamond clan and the pearl clan uh, grudgingly coexist at the moment apparently things used to be less peaceful but the boss i mean the commander is waiting we should have saved this conversation for after you report to him sure 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 Hello. Hi, bossman. What do you intend to do about the Cliver, Commander Kamado? Uh, he may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sino, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do. Uh, you do get right to the point, Adam. Um, Adam man. <laughs> Adam man. I want to call you Adam. Okay, not Adam man. Adam. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Clever is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? Ah, <sighs> that's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throat, just like we used to be. But even folk of the galaxy team have been wo uh, wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to, to do something here. Who's then? Uh, would he? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Uh, thought it maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even have we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows too. Hmm, I see you arrived. Yes, master. This is I, the newest member of our survey corps. Aha, I heard from my you uh earned Wordier's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. My name, I'm Adam, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal, but that's a mouthful, just call me Adam. What? Okay, 
If you if you came from beyond the space time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watch watchword. Or something, I think. Which is uh, why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed it through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Clearers be before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? Say, the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hasui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid his chance. I'm sold. Commander, let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galactic folk really are. With all your weird ways putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. Uh, that whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Husui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokemon from a desire to control our Pokemon, we only show uh, what we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, I. In order, uh, I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept, Master. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone! Yes! Master! Commander! Sir! Well, that sells. And uh, there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Clever, is descended from the po a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you have yet encountered can compare to his strength, be warned. So you're telling me I have to level up? Oh, oh. Challenge accepted. Listen to me, my boy. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hosui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us in interlopers. I'm sorry, interlopers? What is that? Interlopers, I'm sorry. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relationship with the Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan, understand? Yes, Master. Oh, hi, Spleen. Join me downstairs, I. We'll cover the details of this new mission. The thing is, I just assume she speaks like that, okay? I don't know. I just assume she speaks like that. <laughs> Funny enough. I don't know why. I, I used to look at her expression, feels she, she does this style, I feel like she's talking, you know? Yes, Celine, madam, ma'am, uh, sir. Ah, good, you're already here. Professor Leviton, the briefing if you please. Yes, let's get right to it, so, uh, I. I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzy state. But as you're aware of by now, Clever is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. Uh, the security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Clever when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. That's where I come in. I catch all sort of things. Man, listen. Arceus, the almighty god you guys look up to? I have caught him before, okay? Somehow with a master ball or some, some, something, I don't know. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species uh, of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're rattling. Wait. So I can't? So I can't catch it? I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course! Very well. 
Then let's just go over the the practical art. But practical the Diamond Clan Pearl Clans uh, revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offering to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in location they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offering they normally leave this cleaver. Yeah, seems seems fair enough. I we need to speak with you. Diamond Clan. Hey Adam. Listen. That rift in space-time seems like it connected this world to the whole other world. Uh, that world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh that is the one that rules over time. So if you feel through the space-time rift, that uh, might mean you travel through time. Well, time and space, isn't that the, uh, like Dialga and, and Palkia's thing? Like space? and time I mean Arceus isn't he just like the god who created everything like he created the Pokemon the world or something I, I don't know something like that you know he was he's like he's basically God you know uh, but I assume Arceus can also stop time or, or you know says he, yeah he probably can you know what um, might mean you travel time through time uh, by all my sinos own power Think of it, you must have been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you. Oh, amazing time traveler. <laughs> it's like you're praying, oh, dear time traveler. Don't just uh, study Cleaver. Quell its frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adam. We were just discussing our next step with regards to uh, this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, -ho. You must be that galaxy theme scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elab um, elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan type have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard this uh, title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get his under control to, but too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear, uh, dear to us, off in the mountains, have flown in, into the same type of frenzy as, as Cleaver. Now there's a certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we all got to share Husui and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such a powerful Pokemon. You're the best. Hope we got. Uh, you're the best. Hope we got. Okay, thank you. I still can't read. I'm so sorry. Uh, you'll find Cleaver at the Grand Tree uh, Arena. That is. Uh, that's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Lian. Lian is a brilliant child, but also a bit. Well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. Uh, I'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you are up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Goodbye, Adam. Goodbye, mine. See you. He certainly left uh, quickly once he'd finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adam and my weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study uh, and perhaps even quell Clever, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Ab abode. A new heist camp would be a handy place or for setting out towards the Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. I already have. I already have. So what? Can I like ride? Wait, wait, is that that? Again? Oh, find yourself uh, unable to pick up the materials you came across the uh, satchel, always seeming full. I was about to ask about the inventory space if you're the guy to 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 to, to give me it. Uh, if that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment here. Uh, what do you have to say? Yes, sir. What's up, dude? 
I want some extra space, thank you. Uh, you can carry around even more in that schedule of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you like, what do you say? Teach me! Um, I like your uh, initiative. Uh, my teaching fee is neat. 100, alright? Yes, please. Perfect. Then let me your ear in a moment. For a moment. And that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in your packing things correctly? If you want to be able to carry even more things, there are more I could teach you. What do you say? Teach me. What's happening? What's happening? Hold on. Ah, I need to drink some more. Uh, how are things, uh, my good friend? Oh my god, it's the guy who guy again yellow yeah I certainly hope you're putting a uh, s secret back strike technique I taught you to could you absolutely volo absolutely thank you so much either way I have some super potions here just for you my man my man my man's okay think nothing of it having a survey corpse out and about studying Pokemon is great for business you know uh, supporting you now is actually an investment in uh, my own f uh, fortunes. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Thank you! 100 HP, let's go. Uh, and now I must depart. There are runes that are just calling to me. Oh, be careful. I hope you have some good Pokemon with you. Oh my god, so I have to go all the way over there? Oh my god. But I want to explore all around though. Oh god. Uh, I don't know how much we have for this episode that I've recorded, so um Yeah, um either I will end it here or I'll take a little break and uh, stop recording for now because I'm probably just gonna go explore and do some some random stuff. Alright? I'll see you guys in a bit. Kisses! <laughs>